Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today because I am on Balboa Island and had a meeting down here. But I'm telling you guys, I come to these places, these resort towns. Just a couple weeks ago, I was out here filming the uh, south side and uh, there's more vacancies here. Okay, with the new month. I mean, this is crazy, guys. So, you know, here you've got these great places that uh, are just, you know, retail is suffering no matter where you're at, guys. So, perfect example, guys. You know, you're seeing this all over the place. So, uh, there's a lot to talk about. Before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, share this with uh, everybody, all your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to join the email list that is in the video description below. Uh, plus, I've got a Patreon channel that you can sign up for. And the Weeble promotion ends this week. If you want to sign up for Weeble, uh, you can get a free share of stock for just signing up for the account. If you fund the account with anything, they will give you uh, two more stocks that are worth up to $3,000. And again, that this promotion ends this week, guys. So, let's get into it. First thing that we saw, guys, look at this, another vacancy. Okay, not to be sidetracked, but everybody says, Dan gets sidetracked really easy, and I do. But, again, crazy, okay? I love walking on this island. This was a man-made island. It was built about 75 years ago. They've got great Chinese food here. Very famous uh, chef started that restaurant. And uh, you've got the Irvine Ranch Market here with all the good stuff that you can shop at. So, just very, very cool place. Anyways, uh, producer price index, uh, wholesale inflation came out. And the numbers were dramatically higher than they ever thought they would be. They were thinking and anticipating they were gonna be at 9.1%, which is catastrophic, guys. 9.1% wholesale inflation. Now, again, Name an industry where somebody could be this wrong, this wrong, and it came at 9.7%, and these idiot economists still have their jobs. I'm telling you, in the real world, if it wasn't for the government, it would be, hey, did you hear about Ted? He said, said whole pr sale prices were gonna come in at 9.1, and uh, they, they fired him for that. And again, insanity. Uh, so, Nobody's gonna lose their job. Uh, you're gonna pay much more for things. Now here's the thing that makes zero sense. We're supposed to believe that inflation is at 7.5% right now, which is, again, guys, absolutely insane. It is so high, it's, it's beyond belief. But wholesale prices are up 9.7%. And again, I have economists that write me and say, basically, Dan, you take that figure and you double it, okay? So let's say 18%. I've been saying 16%, 17%. Maybe it is 18% now, guys. But regardless, it's up there. So there's that. And again, we're seeing this combined with the supply chain issues. Now, here's the thing. This is a wealthy town. Yeah, it's a beach town, and yeah, you got these cottages, and you got a rental here that's, you know, four grand a week, and all this insanity that you could live on for this island. But people come down here to shop, to hang out, to spend a little extra money, spend the weekend, and the dress shop goes down, the nail salon goes down, the, the, the guy selling the trinkety crap and t-shirts goes down. That's a problem, guys. And you can sit there and say, nobody needs this stuff. You're right. Nobody needs any of that stuff. But when you see, you know, 15 empty locations on Balboa Island and Marine Avenue, that is, that is unbelievable, guys. So there's that. But the supply chain issue that is affecting everybody, affecting every single industry. I want you to tell me an industry that it's not affected by. Now, I know a, uh, a woman that's a teacher and she's got it made. I had a, a meeting with her today and we were talking about her programs and everything that she has to sell right now is all digital now. You know, no shipping books, no printing, no doing anything, no renting hotel rooms, just selling the class. Heaven, guys, absolute heaven for this person. And again, I really think that this person has the best business of anybody I know right now. Now, South Bayfront, okay? 
this is cool. You can still park your car here for free, walk down, and just check this out. Man, this place is just insane. So, just an absolute beautiful spot down here. But, as far as the, the numbers that we're seeing for the supply chain and the supply chain problems, I found a great article from a home builder that is talking about how it is absolutely destroying new home construction. And you're going to see home builders go out of business right now. In the next six months, you're gonna to start to see people file for bankruptcy and, and file uh, uh, different uh, uh, sell, uh, try to join other, uh, try to uh, merge with other companies. You're going to see a lot of things like that between now and summertime, Con totally convinced of it that you're seeing uh, the problems with new construction where they cannot get certain products to complete the houses. Uh, the biggest problem right now they say is garage doors, which again, surprising to say the least, but imagine not being able to uh, complete construction and not have a garage door in a house. Okay, that's what people are experiencing right now. Now, Sacramento, California did something at the end of September and October where they said, hey, listen, we're gonna work it out with the banks. We're gonna approve people to uh, be able to close escrow and uh, not have the garage doors. Well, the problem with that is that not all lenders are on board with that. They're saying, no, 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 no. The house has gotta be in pristine condition for us to lend. What they're doing, think about this. They're taking plywood and putting plywood over the area where the garage door is supposed to be and sealing it off. Now, here's the great thing is this article is brilliant because it talks about the safety features of a garage door. And that's a tough business to be in because you've got all the safety products that you have to sell. People try to cut costs with whatever they do, but you can't do it with a garage door. You've got to have the mechanism. So if a, a kid walks underneath, so the door's dropping, that it's, the door's going to stop. Well, what do you do when you lay plywood up there? Okay. And somebody pushes on it. Okay. Little Johnny's gonna get hurt, okay? So there's that. Now, appliances. These people are talking about how uh, the appliances are backlogged and uh, based on the community, you're going to have some places that have very high-end appliances. You know, things I don't have in my house, okay? But these people will not have appliances put in their house. houses. Now, <sighs> granite, certain things like that that you can get, but you can't get the laminates, you can't get the, the connections, you can't get the cabinets done and completed on time. So just, it escalates everything with this house uh, not being completed. I still love this place, man, with walking here and hearing those planes go overhead in front of a multi-million dollar house. It's just insane. So there's that. But again, all these builders right now are having these problems where they cannot complete houses and they're concerned about that. But when does the average buyer back out? When do they say, hey, listen, I sold our house. You can only rent so long. You can only stay someplace so long before you have to be moved into the house. And let's face it, you know, from talking to Scott Walters, you get people that do construction and they're gonna buy a house and the house is gonna be built and you have a little bit of leeway where you plan on, you know, a 60 day delay, things like that with uh, moving into the house. What do you do if it's six months? Okay, nothing, okay? So, anyways, please share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I think it's crazy to sit there and think that uh, wholesale price is going up 9.7% uh, is not going to affect things at 20%. I don't know how you can't feel that way. I don't know of any industry that is not affected by it. Now, you know, you can get rid of your office, you can go sell your classes online and things like that without having to rent hotel rooms and having to have uh, uh, students inside of a classroom. But how many businesses are like that? And these retail stores are, are, are a perfect example. When you go to the beach and people want to spend a little extra money or the kids want, you know, the ice cream or they want the extra stuff, they want to be able to walk through a store like that and, and buy stuff. So, you know, not everything's going to be purchased online. There's that. Now, Elon Musk, uh, there is a rumor right now that he may have done something that is unbelievable. And that is 
you know, I ride this guy and I've given this guy such a hard time on this channel and everybody who's watched this channel for 45 days knows that. This guy was told last year, about September, October of last year, that they could solve world hunger with $6 billion. There is a rumor that this guy had a part of a stock sale that he just did was to put that money aside to put together the $6 billion to solve the world hunger issue. I'm telling you guys, if this guy even attempts this, this guy will go down in history as, as something unlike any of these other people. Because, you know, uh, you know, Bezos dating the weather girl, uh, everybody going to space, uh, Virgin Galactic. I mean, even that, even Virgin Galactic right now, guys, you can go out and put your deposit down for 150 grand to go to space right now. What? Okay. What would you spend 150 grand on? It wouldn't be buying a ticket. Oh, by the way, that's that's the middle seat, guys. That's not the window seat. Window seats are 450,000. For you to be able to look out the window. Come on, dude, get out get out of the way. I paid, I paid 450, you only paid 150 to sit there. Move over. I mean, you know what I mean? Come on. Becoming wealthy certain things that I know people that would do really great things in the world. If this guy attempts this to try to solve hunger and certain problems like this, <laughs> he would be legendary. He would be better and bigger than anybody on the planet Earth. And I wonder if these guys would then shift their focus from space to uh, taking care of people. I wonder if they would do that. So it'll be very interesting. Uh, the housing prices right now, this is fascinating. Lumber prices spiked a year ago in May, shot up. We all saw that. Then they went down, then they started to go back up again at the end of the year. But right now, they're creeping back up, and the average new construction is $19,000 more with the lumber prices going up over what they were a year ago. So, again, everything's more expensive. Everything has gone up. Everything continues to go up. We're seeing realtors that are having all these problems. We're gonna see the home builders start to have all these problems as well. And sooner or later, people are gonna start backing out of these purchases. It's just gonna to have to happen. Uh, next thing, uh, I just was walking here and uh, ran into a subscriber, Adele, and she was showing her friend Gail, the Islander friend Gail's from Washington State. Adele's uh, from here in Orange County, and her and her husband are uh, uh, subscribers and they watch all the time. It was very nice to talk to those two ladies. And uh, here's a picture of Adele and I, I'll show you guys. But it's great to, to meet people that uh, relate to everything that's going on in the economy. And uh, it was nice to meet those two ladies. Uh, one thing that's happening right now with uh, cryptocurrency is you're seeing just a myriad of different things happen. You're seeing people like Peter Schiff, who I love Peter Schiff, because he's constantly talking about metals and he's talking about hedging it yourself against inflation. And Mr. Schiff is convinced that uh, you're going to see Bitcoin drop to $10,000. Thinks it's gonna to go to the floor. Now, again, always look at alternative investments. Look at gold, silver, lithium, you know, a little bit of everything, guys. Look at different stuff out there. The cryptocurrencies are, uh, cryptocurrencies are great. I just don't know what they're hedge against right now. Now, one thing that's interesting uh, in the past week as we're seeing all these people leave Dogecoin and go to uh, Shiba Inu and there's been 140 billion Shiba Inu picked up and there's this huge campaign to burn tokens and all this stuff with Shiba Inu so it's going to be interesting to see if that happens and if it affects the price in a positive way over the next uh, uh, couple of months. Now the other thing is Jared Polis. Who is that? That's the governor of Colorado. Mr. Polis is, uh, he just did a great interview on CNBC. And the cool thing about this is that he is saying he wants Colorado to be a, the crypto state. He wants it to lead the nation and he's got a few things he's gonna do. But again, really, when you, when you hear this guy talk about it, it's not crazy. It's not, you know, some backwards hat wearing, you know, multimillionaire. It's, it's a leader of a state talking about how they want to have cryptocurrency be used to pay bills. They want it so that you can get your driver's license, you can pay your taxes, you can pay state bills with cryptocurrencies. Now, they 
you know, use everything in U.S. dollars. So everything has to be converted to U.S. dollars. So they're not going to sit there and be a, you know, uh, have crypto wallets. It's going to be something that's going to be converted from the different uh, currencies to uh, the U.S. dollar. There's the sheriff's boat. They were just ripping by here about 10 minutes ago going after somebody with their lights on. I wish I would have caught that, but the sheriffs are out patrolling the harbor. So again, you're going to see a potential uh, coin issued, not just for a city like the Miami coin and New York and things like that, but they want to have a state issued coin and they've hired basically a crypto czar for uh, the state of Colorado. And I think you're going to see more and more of this. But what this is leading us to is that this is going to be here, guys. It's If you think that this is going to drop off the face of the earth and cryptos are going to be dead, you know, we can all believe that, you know, in the Peter Schiff thinking that this is going to drop to the floor and it's, you know, 44000 today and it's going to be $10,000 two weeks from now. That may be the case, but you're going to see cryptocurrencies be used when you have, you know, municipalities, counties, states, the governor of a state plotting this thing for his future and the state's future. Okay, it's it's going to be around. So share your thoughts on all this stuff and let me know what you think about the cryptos for the state government because it's fascinating to say the least. I always love it when you guys send me stuff and Al sent me a great definition of hyperinflation and uh, I will do what I can to share this with you guys in the video description below. But uh, we could realistically say, uh, see things catapult and be in a hyper uh, inflation situation in the coming months. You're seeing problems in the bond market. You're seeing the fact that the yield curve is changing. You're seeing that things are at a point right now that they are absolutely precarious and they are definitely ringing the bell of recession. And I think it's depression, but I think that this is not just in one state, one region. You know, you have areas that have problems. You have areas that come out and they may have an earthquake, they may have a hurricane or, or a tornado or something that shuts down a state or a region and you've got problems flooding, whatever it is. The World Bank just stepped forward. Carmen Reinhardt, who runs the World Bank, is getting ready for the G20 summit with the 20 different finance ministers that are gonna get together and, and talk about everything. Uh, they're talking about how there are countries right now that have unsustainable debt. And Chad, Ethiopia, Zambia, these countries that we're gonna sit there and say, where are those at, Dan? Okay, for them to uh, sit down. They've already reached out to the World Bank and say, hey, we want to negotiate our debt in advance. So you're going to see other countries do this. They anticipate that there are 11 countries that cannot afford their current debt right now. That is catastrophic, guys. That is, that's something that that is only going to get worse. And if you think that this is just an isolated problem and they're idiots and small countries that don't affect everything, they do. They affect everything around the world but it's not just our problem, it's everybody's problem because the supply chain, the prices of everything are absolutely shooting through the roof. Um, the employment problem that we have here, being told that we're at full employment, who believes that? When you see stores like that closed, how do you think that everything's supposed to be so good right now? Because it's just not. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I wanna know what you think. Uh, I, I just think that retail is dead. I think that we're going to see retail in places like this where, you know, from a guy who's been here, coming here my entire life, people would fight to get these places down here. And now they're just vacant buildings, just like everything else. A Starbucks went down on this island. So if that goes down and you can sit there, and I know I'm going to hear, I hate Starbucks. You shouldn't shop there. La, 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 la. Okay. If a Starbucks can't make it here, what can make it here right now? One thing that a lot of people have written me about was the recent uh, couple that got caught with four and a half billion dollars worth of cryptocurrency in their possession and uh, they were trying to launder it. Heather Morgan and Isla Lichtenstein were caught out of New York with four and a half billion dollars worth of cryptocurrency. That was stolen from uh, people at the Bitfinex uh, hack from 2016. Now think about this. Bit, Bitfinex was hacked. 
there was 120,000 Bitcoin that was stolen. It was worth 600 bucks a piece. Okay, $600 million is what they anticipate that it was worth at the time. Now, that Bitcoin that they had in their possession was worth four and a half billion dollars. Now, I mean, this is, you're gonna see movies made from these two wackadoos because Heather is a rapper who raps about finance, who rapped about uh, lifestyle and things like that. And they were living on other people's money, which is funny to say the least. So uh, more to come on this, but uh, there's TikToks that she made. She made all this stuff just talking about lifestyle and, and how great they were and how smart they were as business people. And uh, looks like that wasn't the case. So uh, share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I'm always curious if there's things that you want me to talk about. Let me know about this because this one was nuts. But the Bitcoin has gone up so much. These people are not accused of stealing the Bitcoin. They're just accused of trying to launder the money uh, from this uh, uh, purchase and uh, from from the wallets that they had and uh, purchasing things, lavish lifestyle, uh, private jets, complete shenanigans. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. Guys, we've had warning after warning after warning uh, about how precarious things are, how bad they are. And you just have to look at it and, and make up your own mind if you think that this is gonna get fixed because the Fed, again, has done nothing. You're, we're supposed to believe that a month from now, the Fed is going to do something about raising interest rates and stopping their taper. What's going to happen is that the inflationary spike that is continuing is only going to get worse. The labor problem is only going to get worse. Uh, Alexa sends me, uh, yes, subscriber Alexa, she sent me a message from uh, about CVS stores. CVS stores, now the pharmacies are going to close uh, for a half hour lunch break in the middle of the day because of staffing problems, okay? Well, most, uh, there's a lot of CVS stores here in Orange County that were open 24 hours. They're not anymore, they're done. Uh, uh, the one that my girlfriend goes to for her medication used to be open 24 hours and as a cancer patient, every now and then at you know midnight, one o'clock in the morning, we trek down there, but now they close at eight. So again, you know, this is just getting worse, but we're at full employment, guys. Don't forget that. Um, Burger King, whether you eat fast food or not, you have to look at this. The Whopper is being taken off the discount menu, and there's major changes coming to Burger King. Here's the other thing that I've learned about fast food places. Uh, I hate heat lamps. I hate food sitting under anything, no matter how, if I'm starving. I cannot stand that. Ask for them to do anything custom on your order and the food's made fresh. Extra onions, extra pickles, extra tomatoes, extra anything, cheese, whatever on it, uh, extra cheese. They'll have to make the uh, burger, tacos, whatever fresh for you. So there's that. I'm gonna finish this video with these last few stories. And the first thing that people keep writing me about over and over again is PPP loans and PPP forgiveness. Uh, they changed those loans last year where you could get a self-employed PPP loan and you had to spend the money a certain way, guys, or the loan is not forgivable and you have to pay this loan back. They changed it to five years, 1%, but people are being stuck with these loans. Again, if you have only been given partial forgiveness or you know of anybody that has, have them go to an accountant, have them go to an expert. It's worth paying the money to make sure that this is done properly and that you're not on the hook for this money. So get an expert's uh, uh, help on that. Um, next thing is we keep hearing from the IRS telling us the same story and today's no different, that they are letting you know that there's going to be a delay in processing returns and in issuing refunds to people, okay? Also, get your payments in early, guys. That's the other thing that you should do because they're behind on everything. The final thing, and this is sad, okay? You know, anybody outside of Orange County is not going to know who this place is, but there's an Italian market in Huntington Beach called Lucci's and L-U-C-C-I-S. This place has been there for over 50 years and they're going out of business, guys. And this was one of those places that had the prosciutto, the sausages, they had sauce, they had cheese, they had pizza dough, they had everything, but it was a great Italian market uh, right on Adams and uh, they're done, guys. 
why are they done? Why is this happening? This is the best economy, guys. Everybody's great. Okay, family owned for all those years and they are finished in uh, Huntington Beach, California. You are seeing this happen more and more and you will see this continue to happen as this depression takes over because guys, you know, the Fed talks about the recessionary bells are ringing and people need to understand this is, this is going to be worse than that, guys. And from somebody who has studied the depression and studied everything that's happened in, uh, you know, 1929, 1930, 31, 32, and how we finally got out of it, you know, uh, with a, an international conflict, this is going to be bad, guys. And you need to have yourself financially ready. Get rid of bills. Get rid of anything that you don't need right now and sell it. I'm telling you that right now and, and take the advice or, or don't take it. But get your finances and your house in order, whether it's your business or your personal finances. Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button. Share this with uh, everybody. And uh, I will see you guys very soon.